today we will solve the uh, problem 4.23 of Griffith third edition introduction to quantum mechanics chapter 4 the problem 4.23 consists of two part part one is uh, prove that uh, for a particle in a potential v of r the rate of change of the expectation value of an angular momentum l is equal to the expectation value of the torque uh, that is a uh, time derivative of expectation value of l that is l is the orbital angular momentum is equal to uh, the expectation value of torque where n is the torque uh, n is equal to r cross uh, negative gradient of the uh, potential uh, this is rotation and analog to Aaron first theorem now first we will prove this uh, then we will go for the part two now uh, we will find out the time derivative of uh, uh, x component of orbital angular momentum remember that we are not taking l here l of l sub x uh, so by definition time derivative can be written as from the uh, heisenberg picture that is 1 over h cross the expectation value of a hamiltonian with this particular operator uh, that is hamiltonian with l x uh, then uh, this uh, Hamiltonian, uh, the commutation relation of uh, Hamiltonian with uh, Lx, we are going to calculate it. So, is equal to uh, p squared uh, over 2f plus v uh, L sub x. So, uh, we are going to find only this part, then we will uh, come to this one. Uh, so, uh, now this can be separated into two commutation relation uh, 1 over 2m you can take out p squared uh, commutation with lx uh, plus uh, v this one second one v uh, commutation uh, with v commit with lx uh, so here you can see the first term uh, the linear momentum and the orbital angular momentum will commit so this will be equal to zero so the only things left out is v uh, uh, computation of v with lx l sub x uh, l sub x can be written as uh, x since here you have a x uh, uh, x component then it will be pro, uh, y uh, p z minus z p y by definition so lx i have written like this this I am going to separate into two parts. V uh, with YPZ. V, YPZ. Here you have minus. So minus I brought outside. Uh, v uh, commit with ZPY. Now uh, you can uh, use this uh, angular momentum. Uh, sorry, commutation expansion. This can be written like this. Uh, then... Uh, that is, uh, I am uh, taking y to the left uh, because it is left hand side operator and pz to the right. Same is the case with this. z to the left and py to the right. Now there are four, uh, four terms here. Uh, we will try to solve one by one. See, first thing is uh, the potential and the x component will come into potential x component or y component potential with the position will commute similarly this also will commute both will become zero so only now these two i am maybe i will use different color uh, that is uh, that is this one a commutation of uh, V with uh, PY. See, uh, V with PY. Uh, we have uh, seen in uh, problem 3.14 part C uh, that uh, a function, let it be uh, arbitrary function F, when it commit with P, it gives uh, I uh, gives the value of I H cross 
delta f over delta x, where f is the function, uh, arbitrary function. This we have seen in uh, problem 3.14. Kindly refer uh, the problem 3.14. Now you come over here. So this is uh, here the arbitrary function is v. Uh, so here you have y. Why this uh, this commutation relation can be written using this formula, formula IH cross uh, delta v over delta x delta v over delta x because here f is v uh, same is the case with this one of course you have minus here so z you have z uh, then uh, v uh, commutation of v with p y using uh, applying this formula this is equal to i h cross delta v over delta h now we will see what will happen to this uh, so we got that the commutation of h uh, with uh, l x that is x component of orbital angular momentum is equal to y i h cross uh, delta v over delta x minus z i h cross delta v over delta x which is equal to i have taken i h cross outside that is this i h cross and here i have i h cross you take outside as a common then you will get first term y uh, delta v over delta x next term is minus uh, z delta v over uh, delta x so uh, this is nothing but if you see this this is the r cross delta v this is r cross delta v this one can be written as r cross delta v of course you have x component allowed this uh, sub uh, x indicate this x component of r uh, cross delta v uh, so now uh, the time derivative of x component of orbital angular momentum is equal to pi definition 1 over h cross expectation value of commutation of h with lx so uh, this uh, uh, h uh, uh, the commutation of h with lx is equal to i h cross uh, r cross uh, uh, r cross delta v of course x component here you can see this uh, h cross h cross will get cancelled and i squared i into i i squared which is equal to minus one uh, so this can be written as minus the expectation value of uh, r cross uh, delta v uh, we, uh, the component of x component similarly for uh, l y it is y component uh, for l z it is z component that's all in general we can write uh, this is as equal to the uh, T L over T T time derivative of orbital angular momentum is equal to the expectation value of uh, R uh, cross uh, minus uh, delta uh, gradient V del uh, V is that is uh, you know the negative gradient its uh, force uh, so uh, this is uh, this uh, pro uh, cross product is nothing but uh, N that is Dark. This is nothing but dark. So now we have proved that time derivative of uh, orbital angular momentum, expectation value of orbital angular momentum is equal to the expectation value of uh, dark. Uh, now uh, part B is so that the time derivative of uh, expectation value of orbital angular momentum is zero for any uh, spherically symmetric potential this is the one form of quantum statement of conservation of angular momentum uh, let us say if v is only the symmetric potential it depends only on r so then the gradient v can be written as delta v over delta r r cat that is a unit vector uh, uh, since it's uh, symmetry it purely depends on the radial, that is distance. Uh, then uh, the time derivative of the expectation value of angular momentum is 
just now we have seen it is equal to the expectation value of r cross uh, negative gradient of v so this negative gradient of v can be written as r cat multiplied by minus delta v over delta r the, uh, here you can notice r cross r since it's a cross product it is both are in same direction so this will be zero so naturally uh, the time derivative of expectation value of l is equal to zero in this case of spherically symmetric potential uh, thank you very much for watching my video and supporting me con continuously thank you very much